crap tons of damage, so there's no point in doing that. Ah. Da 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 da. Oh, not me, him. Okay. It appears as I. Yeah, it appears as though I have leveled up. Yes. Nearing almost 300 defense points. Wow. Okay. Save. No. Bad item screen. Don't die, please don't die! Okay. What a bastard. He waits for me to jump over just to come and knife me. And there wasn't even o anything over here. He was probably trapped for days and he's like, Food! Food! Oh my god, please, you've come to save me! And he's like, Nope, I'm gonna come and kill you. He's probably stranded there for months, just freezing in this death pit of ice, and I don't think I should jump there. This game doesn't have many leaps of faith, so... Ah, the hell of it. And that's why I don't. Yes. Let's see, there's not too many paths left to take. That I know of. Steal my kidney. Or my echidna. No, oh, they stole my echidna. Right. I think I'm nearing it. Or at least nearing what it could be. Possibly be. What if it never was? What the hell am I even talking about? What the cold has done to my brain, which has addled me. Oh, hello, door. I made a remix to this song. Eight bit, of course. Yeah, I forgot how annoying this boss is. Basically, don't get hit. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's probably going to take a couple tries. So, yeah. Obvious boss strategy. Destroy all the crystals, then you're going to be able to hit the boss. I'm surprised I got to the boss this quickly, honestly. I thought this place would be more labyrinthian. I know what to do, and I know that I'm probably at close to the right level. If not, I'll just keep going, grind a bit more. <sighs> Honestly, the only problem is getting crapped on by those sh crystals. Yeah, I really liked this song from Lagoon. It's literally, it's my second favorite of all the tunes. The first one is coming up soon. Get a good hit in, wait for the crystals to stop. Okay. I know this tune sounds pretty basic, but I just like it for what it is. I'm not too biggie. Ah, God! 
What the hell? You saw how careful I was trying to be, and then I just get wrecked. Okay. You can't predict anything in this game. You just get... Shit just happens. Oh, that time he fires three? Okay. I'm gonna not be able to live with it. Oh, Jesus. Holy crap, I won. I thought he'd deal damage to me if I got hit. Guess I got lucky there. Zimbale. Get a life ball. Yes! I only have one ball. If I go get the shiny ball from below, then I'll have two balls. I believe if you have the life ball equipped, it'll save you from death. One time. So yeah, I'm level... Whoa! Yeah, I'm level 24. I thought I was 22 last time I was in here. Got two levels. Nymp Spring! Alas, this game is drawing closer to its final conclusion. Hello, nymphs. Phantom Hill. About time. Here's the moon staff, and I will get the thunder crystal soon. This is my favorite song in the whole game. Also, there's no way back. And we shall return. Momentarily. Hey there guys, and welcome to my Let's Play of Lagoon once again. We are nearing the end of the game, actually. I'm on top of Phantom Hill. And, jeez, last episode, we find out that Thor actually turned against us, and now he's the Champion of Darkness. <sighs> what a twist, right? The so David Bowie is now evil. Oh no, what will we ever do? I don't know. <laughs> so I must progress and defeat my brother. As stated in prior lore in this game, the Champion of Light and Champion of Darkness were never meant to be separate. It's kind of a yin-yang thing. So if you can consider that lore, this game doesn't really have much of a plotline, but dang. So, here we are back on Phantom Hill. As I said earlier, this is one of my favorite themes in the game. Actually, this is my favorite out of all of them, covering health. And I just think one of the main reasons I even decided to do a Let's Play of this game was just it seemed really underrated for what it was. People always say Earthbound is one of the most underrated games of all time. Well, at least people have heard of it. I can guarantee that hardly anybody knows about this game. The only reason I even knew about it was because when my mom bought me a Super Nintendo, uh, Link to the Past hadn't come out yet, and this game came out before it, and wow, it looks really pretty, considering. So I had this game. So, yeah, I, I played this before I played Zelda, so... I had always thought that this was a better game just because of that, and <laughs> that looks kind of funny. Not saying that Zelda's a bad game, quite contrary to the fact. I actually prefer Zelda over any other game similar to that variety. I just... It's kind of a nostalgia factor. Uh, Rose-colored glasses, if you will. I just... Yeah, so when my mom first bought me a Super Nintendo, I sat down and played this game. I didn't really like it at first, for the reasons I'm sure I've outlined in this video already. Particularly the sword length. That just was really annoying for me, 